the Honorable Member for Glengarry Prescott Russell. Mr. Speaker, I rise in this House to reiterate the importance of hunting in our rural communities, even though I'm no hunter right now. I really do love a good deer patty, patty burger. For my Franco Ontario community, I know that hunting is really a, a deep part of our lives. And when the hunting season comes, people get together. Mr. Speaker, in 2012, the Prime Minister declared a gun registry in Hawkesbury. Hunters were never part of our hunters were never part of our bills, as is the case for C21. It's normal that some amendments be debated at National Security Committee, and I pay tribute to the Liberal Bloc and NDP efforts to ensure that hunters will not be subject to this law by error. Hunting is a legitimate mode of life. Thank you. Member for Cypress Hill. Even on Bill C-21, the Liberals have demonstrated aptitude by not providing the necessary resources for our CBSA officers to stop gun smuggling. Ignoring our border communities is poor short-term policy and will have long-term consequences for our economy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As well. For Sturgeon River Parkland. Mr. Speaker, just moments ago, the Assembly of First Nations, which represents Indigenous peoples across Canada, issued a declaration publicly opposing Liberal Bill C-21. This Liberal hunting gun grab is not only a threat to the livelihood of hunters, trappers and sports shooters, it is a violation of the treaty hunting rights of all First Nations. When will this Prime Minister end his attack on law-abiding hunters and Indigenous treaty rights and stop Bill C-21? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. Mr. Speaker, today, Liberal members of the Standing Committee on Public Safety and National Security, alongside the Bloc Quebecois and the NDP, requested two urgent meetings to be held immediately. Mr. Speaker, the premise behind this is to work together. To work together with the Bloc and the NDP. Unfortunately, the Conservatives, Mr. Speaker, are continuing to be part of the problem versus being part of the solution. Mr. Speaker, the mission here is to get guns off the street and Ask the Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary to. God, don't let us hear that again. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary, does he want to finish off what he was saying? Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I do want to take this opportunity as well to thank the Bloc and, and in particular their MPs, those that are in the committee, the one that brought the motion forward, thank you for that. The NDP, Mr. Speaker, the key here is, is to work together, is to ensure that we work with different organizations, our different members of the House, to ensure, once again, that we get those dangerous weapons off the streets. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Mr. Speaker, consultation at this late of stage in the process is an act of bad faith by this government. It is a slap in the face to reconciliation. This government needs to go back to the drawing board, consult with First Nations, and consult with hunters across this country before coming up with any new legislation on this matter. It's black and white. The Assembly of First Nations knows it, Conservatives know it, know it, and all other parties know it. This government was denying it for weeks, saying they weren't going after hunting rifles and shotguns, but now they're finally admitting it. They know that they were misleading this House. When will this government stop going after law-abiding hunters and sports shooters? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government has been very clear, Mr. Speaker, that we are not targeting the guns commonly used for hunting. I applaud the members of the Bloc. Order. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, please continue. Yeah, tell the truth this time. Sorry, Mr. Speaker, from the top or continue? Okay. I applaud, I applaud the members of the Bloc and the NDP 
for working with us to try to come up with solutions while the Conservative Party are just looking for problems. Mr. Speaker, the committee is doing the important work that it needs to do on this legislation. I invite the honourable members from the Conservative Party to join us in finding solutions and support our emergency motion for a meeting to invite witnesses to come to committee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The honourable member for York Simcoe. Mr. Speaker, if there's one thing our Prime Minister hates, it's diversity, diversity of opinion. He goes after anyone he doesn't agree with by insulting them, harassing them, and restricting their rights. His latest target, law-abiding firearm owners. He's banning thousands of firearms used for hunting while giving gangs and smugglers a free pass. The PM should spend more time up in a tree stand and less time standing against hunters. The Liberals have missed the mark on C-21. When will they stop targeting law-abiding hunters and farmers? Here, 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 here. Mr. Speaker, after what we just heard from Conservative colleagues and the insults directed at my colleagues, I don't think we have any lessons to take on that front. But when it comes to firearms, we've been clear from the beginning. We don't want to prevent hunters from hunting or Indigenous communities from practicing their traditions. And that is why we will continue to work with those who want to collaborate to protect Canadians and prevent handguns and assault weapons that have perpetrated horrific massacres, whether at the Quebec City Mosque or the Polytechnique. So I would ask everyone to act in a responsible way to protect Canadians. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Cowichan, Malahat Langford. Mr. Speaker, the government's proposed amendment to C-21 has become a textbook case on what not to do. This change was brought in at the 11th hour with no consultation and no testimony. It has distracted from the original purpose of the bill and it hurts rural communities. Hunters, farmers and Indigenous communities are outraged that some of the rifles and shotguns that they used to provide for their families could be banned. The Minister of Public Safety blindsided Canadians when he made this mess, how is he going to fix it? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to start by acknowledging the good work that the Honourable Member does on the Public Safety Committee and the perspective that he brings forward. We will not be banning any guns that are commonly used for hunting. We spent two hours at committee today getting very technical answers on what is in included in the bill, what is included in, in the types of, of guns that are being considered under this legislation. I look forward to working with the honourable members and, in fact, all members of this House to make sure that we get this legislation right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The honourable Member for Skeena Bulkley Valley. Mr. Speaker, that answer wasn't good enough for the people of Northwest BC, and it's not good enough for the people across rural Canada. We're not going to clean up the mess the Liberals have made of this bill, and people feel hoodwinked by these last-minute amendments. Now, this was meant to be a bill about limiting handguns and protecting victims of domestic violence, but now they're going after the tools that my neighbours use for hunting, for predator control, and for backcountry safety. When is the Prime Minister going to realise the mistake he's made, fix this mess, and back up the bus? Oh, hey! The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the important role the committees have is exactly what they're doing right now. Uh, this bill, we have been very clear from the beginning. Its intention is to remove assault-style weapons from our streets and handguns that are involved in terrible tragedies. Uh, there is the opportunity, Mr. Speaker. Tell the Honourable Government House Leader from the top, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would say that in many different moments in time when we're dealing with contentious legislation, we have an opportunity, an opportunity to work on our differences and find solutions. And I would suggest in this instance, when we're talking about the type of weapons that are involved in, in terrible tragedies, in tragedies like the one, unfortunately, we commemorated and mem memorialized uh, just uh, a couple of days ago with Polytechnique, uh, that our square focus must be on keeping our, our, our streets safe and to be able to look at the eyes of victims and make sure that we're removing those guns that are offending. And what we have said in no uncertain terms that those weapons that are those guns that are used for hunting are ones that we want to make sure are not included. The